This is amazing. Now we have AI agents to do stock analysis. The stock analysis is done by multiple agents, research analyst agents, financial analyst agents, investment advisor agents, and finally we get the stock analysis report. So these AI agents will work together to produce this report. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Crew AI use case. So in this, we are going to create multiple agents to perform stock analysis task. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so that it can help many others like you. So the first step is git clone crew AI examples and then click enter. Next, navigate to the crew AI examples folder. Inside that, you have a folder called stock underscore analysis. Just navigate to that folder and then let's open this in the VS Code app. So the folder structure will look like this. We are going to rename .env.example to .env like this and then click enter. Now we need to fill in a few details such as Serper API key, browserless API key, sec API API key and open AI API key. You can get those information from these URLs. Once you have filled in, just click the save button and then you are ready to start your application. I have now entered and saved the .env file. Now I'm going to open the terminal. In your terminal, conta create hyphen n crew AI python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Next, conta activate crew AI and then click enter. Next, pip install poetry and platform DARs and then click enter. Next, poetry install hyphen hyphen no root and then click enter. And it's installing those packages. Now we are going to analyze the different agents, the different tasks and the different tools. So these are the three different things in crew AI. So if you see the folder, you'll have agents, tasks, and then tools. Coming to agents, as we have seen before, there are three agents. One is research agent, financial analyst agent, and then investment advisor agent. So here's the financial analyst agent. The goal is to impress all customers with financial data and market trend analysis. The second agent, research analyst agent. The goal of the research analyst agent being the best at gather, interpret the data, and amaze the customer with it. And the third agent is the investment advisor agent. Impress your customers with full analysis over stocks and complete investment recommendation. For each of these agents, there is a backstory. That's like the in-depth character of each agent. And we also provide tools for each agent. So we have browser tools, search tools, calculator tools, and sec tools. So these tools we can see got imported in this line calculator tools, search tools, and sec tools. So if you navigate to the folder, you can see a folder called tools. That's where all the tools exist. So the browser tool will be used to scrape website content. The calculator tool is used to perform any mathematical calculation. The search tool is used to search the internet. Then the sec tool is used to search 10Q form. For example, this form, we can get information like what was last quarter's revenue those kind of information. So now we are going to use all these tools together with these agents and that makes it more powerful. You can see one more tool such as Yahoo Finance News Tool. This is used to collect the latest news from Yahoo Finance. Now finally, we are going to see the list of tasks. We have seen agents, we have seen tools and we are going to see tasks. So we have four tasks in this. So the first task is to collect and summarize recent news article. The second task, financial analysis task, is to conduct a thorough analysis of the stock's financial health and market performance. The filing analysis task is to analyze the latest filings. And finally, the recommend task is to review and synthesize the analysis provided by the financial analyst and the research analyst. Combine these insights to form a comprehensive investment recommendation. That is the final output which we are going to get. So now finally, we are going to merge all these things together in the main.py file. Here we are initiating all those three agents and then giving each agent a task. The research task given to the research agent, financial task given to the financial agent, the filing task given to the financial agent, and the recommend task is given to the investment agent. And then we are initiating the crew, the whole application, 
using the crew function, there we provide all the agents, all the tasks, and then we start the process by crew.kickoff. That's a quick overview. Now you can customize based on your own need and make your work easy. When we start the function, it will automatically ask a question, what is the company you want to analyze? We are going to analyze Apple and then it will get the result from financialcrew.run and finally print out the results. I have already covered the basics in regards to Crew AI, which I have linked that in the description below, if in case you are not able to get any of these points. Now I'm going to run this code as a whole. In your terminal, poetry run python main.py and then click enter. This will automatically start those agents. Now the first question is, what is the company you want to analyze? I'm going to enter Apple. I can see it's expecting an API key from OpenAI. So make sure you export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Now I'm going to run this code, poetry run python main.py. What is the company you want to analyze? Apple. And now I can see it's using a tool called Yahoo Finance News and it's passing the symbol AAPL. I can see it came up with the error saying that description key is not there. So when I open the file, I'm going to modify slightly. I will put this fix in the description below. So just added a empty value. Now let's run this code, poetry run python main.py and typing apple. Now I can see it is working. Apple stock should be dropped from magnificent seven. Apple stock faces three downgrades and it's going and browsing those articles and getting insights from that so that it can provide a detailed stock analysis. I can see it's automatically creating chunks, which means the data is automatically getting saved using embeddings. So towards the end, you will have advanced report with all these insights, fiscal period, the list of services, the segment operating performance, and it's using all the different tools which we provided to the agent. So now I can see all the agents working together. Even now it going to the research agent. It is really amazing in how much depth the analysis is happening. It is a big set of conversation between those agents. And finally, here is the answer. It took nearly four minutes for it to complete. It went so in depth, like it was browsing Yahoo Finance website, Nasdaq, and many websites. And here is the final answer. The investment recommendation for Apple, it gives the company overview and market risk profile. Here's the insider trading activity, upcoming events, investment recommendation, and this is what it recommends. As such, we recommend a whole stance on Apple stock for now. This means that if you currently own Apple stock, hold on to it. If you don't, it's not necessarily the right time to buy. Keep an eye on Apple's performance and economic developments that could impact the stock's value. Disclaimer, this recommendation is for informational purpose only and does not constitute financial advice. Always do your research and consult with the professional before making any investment decisions. But at least we got an idea based on different research. I'm really excited about this. Imagine this is only one area and what if we focus on different area of research and think how fast we can grow in this area. I'm going to create more videos similar to this in regards to use cases, advancements in AI, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.